At CBS 2, we are always working for Chicago. And nearly every day, we're reminded of the power of a well-placed phone call or email. A couple in Monee believes it was an email from us that helped them finally get the stimulus money they've been waiting on since last April. CBS 2's Marie Saavedra shares the long and winding story that ended with a check. Hours. Probably, I mean, I'd hate to sit down and figure it out. <laughs> right, <it's> probably. <laughs> Mike and Debbie Brandt of Monee can laugh about it now, but they're sharing how their wait for their stimulus check in 2021 turned into a months long saga. When we first received the letter from the IRS on in April, they said that we would be receiving the $5,600. <laughs> And if we hadn't received it, to give them a call. You'll remember there were issues with that rollout. The Brants thought theirs was just delayed. But in August, they learned they were getting a debit card, not a check, and from a different bank than they thought. Another bank sent us a debit card. And then that's where the problem lies. That bank was Money Network. Debbie called to ask where that card was. The lady I talked to said, oh, no, you don't have any money left on your card. I said, well, we never received a card. The Brant say records show somebody found their card somehow last April and spent $1,200 at Louis Vuitton, took out $2,000 in cash, among other things. And she said, well, you spent it. I said, no, we didn't. So the couple appealed it last October, sending in a police report. But the Brant say they were denied. Every month since, they have tried to get what they're owed, spending hours on the phone. So we have no idea why it's getting disputed and we, or why it's getting rejected, and it, it just keeps going. After their latest denial, they called us, and we emailed Money Network. On Tuesday, a spokesperson responded, saying they'd contacted the Brants directly with the results of an investigation. Regardless, 10 months after it was promised and a week after we reached out, this FedEx check showed up at the couple's door. They are glad, but worried for others in the same boat without the time or the resources they spent tracking it down. We're fortunate enough to not be in desperate need to, to have, have to have had this money, but how many families are out there that are? And that, that's our concern. There's still a lot that we do not know about what happened here. How was that debit card stolen? Why did Money Network deny the couple so many times? And what changed in the last two weeks to get them their money? After several requests, the bank's spokesperson has not answered our questions. In the newsroom, Marisa Vedra, CBS 2 News.